Battery swapping firm Battery Smart raised $33 million from investors in a pre-Series B funding round. The round saw investments by existing investors, Tiger Global and Bloom Ventures, as well as from new ones like in the ecosystem like Ecosystem Integrity Fund and British International Investment. Now, the company which provides battery as a service has 25,000 customers and will use the funds to expand its user base and expand to newer geographies. Joining me now to discuss this further is Pulkit Kurana, the co-founder and CEO of Battery Smart. Also with me, Shruti Mishra. Uh, Pulkit, it's great to have you back on the show. Uh, the last time I spoke to you was when you last raised funds in 2022. And now you've raised $33 million as part of a bigger... And this is supposed to be a part of a bigger round. So uh, how much are you planning to raise? So hey, Arundhati, always a pleasure to be on your show. And thanks for inviting us. Uh, so the, the plans are that this is a very large space that we are operating in, right? And it's a very huge opportunity when we are trying to uh, eliminate the capex problem from two wheelers and three wheelers by making evs more affordable right so the investments required to do that are going to be extremely large uh, we anticipate this to be a 17 billion dollar opportunity uh, to be built out over the next 7 to 10 years uh, and towards that end i think we would need continuous support from various investors as we uh, invest in these assets, infrastructure, team, and technology uh, to serve various two wheelers and three wheelers. Uh, to that end, we raised, we did raise last year. Uh, this year, yes. we have raised a thirty-three million round to kick off the process, uh, and we'll see where uh, where the final closure ends at. All right, Pulkit. This is Shruti. Quickly stepping in, uh, Pulkit. What's the current growth and demand uh, that you're seeing? Also, if you could talk to us about, you know, what will it take to move the industry to adopting a single platform to ensure bet- battery swapping can be the long-term solution to EV adoption? Sure. So, uh, as you as you see, the two-wheeler population is is definitely growing very fast now. Uh, India already is the largest three-wheeler market when it comes to electric vehicles. There are more than 2.5 million such vehicles expected uh, on the road in India currently. Uh, the biggest problems being that uh, the batteries cost almost 40 to 50 percent of the capex, and they uh, does make it makes it unaffordable for a lot of users to to kind of buy these electric vehicles, right? And the second biggest challenge is the downtime problem for any commercial driver. Uh, people really doing commercial activity cannot afford four to five hours of downtime charging their vehicles. Uh, to do to eliminate that problem, battery swapping exists. Uh, we think that every commercial two wheeler and three wheeler can definitely benefit from battery swapping. In terms of our growth, the most of the growth has actually happened in in the last two years, right? Uh, if you if you just see last twelve months, we have grown around seven x. Right. Uh, we were close to 3,000 odd vehicles. We are now serving more than 25,000 vehicles on the platform and adding three to 4,000 every month. Absolutely. Uh, right? So so the, the growth has been phenomenal, which speaks about the strong value proposition and, and the, the love that users are, are giving us. Right. So growth has been phenomenal and you're seeing great demand. So let's come to the fundraise. You're going to primarily use the funds to expand your customer base. Uh, so let's look at how you plan to expand this customer base. You currently have about 25,000 customers. Uh, how much do you want to grow this by? What's the target and what's your strategy here? Uh, sure. So we are barely scratching the surface when, when you look at it, right? If there are already 2.5 million three-wheelers and almost a million two-wheelers sold last year, uh, we are just doing 1%, right? So it's a, it's a very large uh, uh, opportunity. We definitely want to grow as fast as possible and serve as many customers we can. The, the target for this year is to at least double this base from 25,000 to 50,000 by by December end. Uh, and next year, we want to, by mid of next year itself, we want to kind of hit 100,000 users. Uh, that's the internal goals that we have set for ourselves. And this fundraise should help us reach there. All right, Pulkit, you know, speaking about growth, uh, let's also talk about geographic expansion. You know, you have 600 swap stations across 25 cities. How many more swap stations do you want to set up? And are you well funded uh, now to set these up? What are the targets? Sure. So we are actually opening around 50 to 60 stations a month okay. right now. Uh, we would go deeper in these 25 cities. A lot of them have been opened in just last 12 months. Uh, so we would definitely go deeper in these territories, but also add around 8 to 10 more cities by end of this year. Uh, we are definitely capitalized enough to to kind of do that. And stations as well as customers go in parallel because you cannot actually add customers before there are stations where they, they can go and swap. Uh, so this is more of a supply first business where, where you open some stations 
sense that attracts a lot of users uh, because they see a very dense network where they can go in and just swap their batteries, uh, eliminates their range anxiety, uh, essentially. Um, right. And like you said, you've grown about seven times in revenues in your cust uh, and in your customer base. So what is your revenue currently at and where is it mostly coming from? Uh, what's the road to profitability looking like? So we currently serve more than 55,000 uh, battery swaps in a day. Uh, we would be filing our last financial year uh, statement pretty soon. Uh, and that reflects more than a 7x growth uh, compared to last year. Uh, but we continue to grow on around a 15% okay. month on month rate. And we will have to keep up with that pace to, to reach 100,000 customers. All right. Uh, Pulkit, one final question. And if you could quickly answer that, the government's battery swapping policy has faced stiff opposition from the industry over interoperability standards mooted in the draft scheme. Uh, what's your view on this? So uh, the, the draft scheme definitely envisaged an uh, uh, interoperable and standardized battery. But uh, we believe that uh, it's it's too early to standardize something which is an evolving technology and a product. Uh, it's uh, it's like standardizing, let's say, a, a VGA port in 90s and you would not have seen, say, USB or HDMI evolving, right? So it's too early to standardize a product and that has been the demand of entire industry. The great thing is that uh, the current government and various ministries involved have been very receptive uh, of such feedback and that is why uh, we keep hearing now that the standardization aspect of the policy is being dropped while everything else, uh, whether it comes at GST parity because currently batteries are charged at 18% GST. Uh, so the reduction on that to 5% is something that the industry is very eagerly waiting for. Right. So key ask there from the government. All right, Pulkit, we're completely out of time. But thank you so much for joining us on the show and we'll check in with you soon again.